Hello Gemini and welcome to your timeless reading. Gemini, we are going to be getting our subject matter from the divine. Divine, what is this reading for Gemini all about? What is this reading for Gemini all about? What is the subject matter of this timeless reading for Gemini? Okay, we've got two cards, so let's just shuffle these cards a little bit more. Thank you. So we have your reading here and it's going to be all about alchemy also. I think Taurus got the same card. So interesting that this card has come up again. All right. So let's get the divine to clarify that message for you. Divine, can you clarify the message from the alchemy card? What is that all about? What does Gemini need to know? about alchemy okay. all right gemini so we have your cards let's have a look to see what is happening all right and let's get another card for you so we have our tarot cards and then we are also going to be getting our cards and we get the divine to close off this reading for you divine what is the final message for gemini what is the final message for gemini mm -hmm. All right, so we will get our card and we will look at this card at the end of this reading, Gemini. So you are opening up this reading with a major kind of card of the world. Now, the world card is a wonderful type of energy. So we are seeing here that you have been through a lot of different experiences and you have been through a lot. And the divine is saying that you are now in that energy of coming out the other side. And it could be that you have experienced a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. And you are in that energy where you are feeling tired, defeated and wondering if you can trust people with your heart and your soul. And we're seeing that our three of swords, not only is it a painful card, our world card, our woman, she has her eyes closed to the pain that is in your heart that you have felt. And the divine wants you to know that it is time to feel this pain, open your eyes to it, feel this pain, heal this pain, let it go. Because by addressing this pain, you will then see that this is what is currently standing in your way of being able to manifest the next chapter of your life. Because when the world card is here, it indicates an ending. And from an ending, it's a new beginning. From the number 21, we go to the full card, the zero card. So there is this energy of, if you understand how to heal this pain, seek the help that you need, go see a therapist, speak to your friend, whatever you need to do. This energy of pain and sorrow needs to be addressed because it is standing in the way of our wonderful card, the Ten of Pentacles. And once you've healed this pain, once you've felt this pain, once you've acknowledged whatever has happened here, you can then open a new chapter to the world card. You can then open a new chapter where you're seeing your finances finally growing, where you're seeing happiness and support and joy and maybe reuniting with your family. So there is a whole myriad of feelings that are here. And this is why the alchemist card is here. Because again, the alchemist is about being that wizard, right? That magician, that magician who is able to turn lead into gold. So the divine is asking you, how can you turn this lead, this pain, this dense and heavy energy that is in your heart? How can you tame that? How can you mutate it? How can you use it to fuel you to go and create that happy family? The Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful card because it speaks about joy on every level. Your money is good. Your health is good. You have support. You have family. You have friends. Life is finally feeling good. But remember something was standing in your way. 
And so we have the alchemist here who is asking you again to use this pain that you have felt in the past, whatever has happened, and to mutate this pain and fuel you to go and create the success that is here. And we are seeing that the divine wants you to understand that if you are not able to face the pain, maybe from your childhood, maybe from your past, maybe for whatever that has happened here, if you're not able to sit with this pain, to heal this pain, to acknowledge this pain, you are going to be robbing yourself from the future that you deserve. Because we have the Seven of Swords and we can see you here as the Seven of Swords running away from the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to bring the cards a little bit closer so you can see them why I said running away. So when we look at the structure of this building that you're currently in, and then when we look at that structure in the background, isn't it funny how they look the same? So because you haven't taken the chance to address the pain that you have felt, that is blocking this wonderful energy of the Ten of Pentacles, what you're actually doing is you are robbing yourself of a happy and joyous future. You are robbing yourself and your future from all this happiness that is here. So again, find ways of healing the pain of the Three of Swords. Because when you do, you can finally go and claim this wonderful energy of the Ten of Pentacles. And in fact, in the comment section, I want you to claim these wonderful energies of the Ten of Pentacles. And not only claim them, I want you to go and do the work that is needed, doing that healing, doing that shadow work, doing whatever it is that you know you need to do, so that when you get to this happy future, you're getting here whole, you're getting here with your heart repaired, so that you can help other people also repair their hearts. I love the energy of the Ten of Pentacles, so claim this energy in the comment section below. So the Divine is asking you, that as you are doing the work, doing that shadow work, people who've hurt you could come in out of the blue suddenly and offer you that olive branch, an apology. And you're sitting here looking at this card, healing from the situation. You're sitting here gaining that inner peace. And then suddenly out of the blue, you see people maybe text you, message you, email you, call you and say, hey, you know, that situation was a messed up situation and I am sorry and then it is up to you to accept that apology or not but whatever has happened it is time for you to come and sit down meditate and really get to the root of the matter really get down to this pain to feel it to sit with it to release it surrender it and then let it go and then you can go and walk towards that energy of the Ten of Pentacles that we have already seen, Gemini. So you have a lot of work that you are going to be doing. But if you're willing to do that work, you have wonderful energies that you are going to be claiming. You have wonderful results that are here for you. So don't be afraid to feel that pain, to release it and to let it go once and for all. And if you need to seek therapy, seek therapy. If you need to do whatever it is that you need to do, go and do it. Because you have wonderful energies from the Ten of Pentacles. So, we have that final message that the Divine wanted to give you. And how amazing and just how perfect is this message, that final message to really drive this, this reading home. And so the Divine wants you to know that you are going through a transformation you are becoming the alchemist, being able to transmute and transform your pain into success, transforming your pain into growth, into the reason why you're going to succeed. So the transformation card is here to say that things are changing at a cellular, at a cellular level. Deep healing now. Wasn't this whole reading all about deep healing? Wasn't that whole reading all about this situation here all situations that are holding you from transforming your life and your disappointments into success so can you see why these cards are here can you see why this alchemy card was here 
And can you see why the card of transformation is here? And why the card of pain and sorrow was here? And so the divine is asking you again to do the shadow work. Do everything that you need to do. Become the alchemist turning sorrow into joy. Turning disappointments and childhood traumas into the reason why you are finally going to be successful. So Gemini, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to claim again the energies of transformation, of being the alchemist, the energies of the Ten of Pentacles, the energy of finally healing at a deep soul level so that you can start your new future whole, complete, gentle, loving, and understanding that everything that you have experienced in the past that has caused you pain and disappointment has brought you to this success and joy. So again, Gemini, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. On that note, I'm going to see you soon. It's a goodbye.